What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the top five uh, defenses in Madden NFL 25. Uh, coming in at number five, we have the Houston Texan defense. Uh, arguably the most underrated defense in the game uh, with J.J. Watt on one end, Antonio Smith on the other, and you can put them at defensive tackles in a 4-3 set, and uh, you, can, you, know, you can negate their main weakness, which is they don't have great defensive tackles, and what you can do is maybe run a 2-4-5 set and get some of these above-average linebackers on the field. Uh, guys like Brooks Reed, Brian Cushing, Joe Mays, Whit Whitney Merciless, uh, Tim Dobbins, and Daryl Sharpton, two of the biggest Madden gyms in the game. Let's take a look at their hit power ratings. Uh, that's the main reason I really like the Texans is they have very good hit power. I see your 86, 90, 88, 92, uh, 85, 95, 90. Just so many guys who can really lay wood. And with the addition of Ed Reed, uh, it really solidifies their defense. Uh, two really serviceable corners on the outside here. Uh, and then great safety play in Ed Reed and Danielle Manning. Fast safeties, uh, ball hawking safety safeties that can make plays, and then don't sleep on this rookie DJ Swarniger, and certainly don't sleep on Shiloh Keough. Even though he's only 78 speed, he's probably the perfect blitzing safety with that 95 hit power, and you see the rookie coming in with 89 hit power. Just they've got so much hit power on this team, and a lot of people don't take notice. But I think that the Houston Texans are certainly a top five defense in Madden NFL 25. Not very many weaknesses outside of the fact that they just don't have the defensive tackle, the defensive line depth that I would like, but you can certainly make up for that by running a nickel 245 package. Number four, uh, as far as our top five defenses go this year, I'm going to have to say that the Cincinnati Bengals are number four. Um, with really good secondary play, they make perfect. They make the perfect defense for uh, something like what we just broke down, the sub-4-1-6 package, um, as you see. But a lack of linebacker play is what keeps them underneath. Uh, there's not a whole lot of speed at linebacker. You see the highest they get is 82. They get better with the signing of Michael Boley and the addition of James Harris in the offseason, but they still don't have that that it factor like they had last year with Manny Lawson, and Dante Moak and, and all those guys. Here we get a lot more of a heavy hitting bunch with Vontaze Bursett, Jermaine Harrison, and Ray Maluga. Obviously Cincinnati's defensive line is ridiculous. As you see we got 89 overalls, 91 overall, 97 overall, and then a really decent backup and a defensive tackle here. And they have a rookie here, Marcus Hunt, I think a Madden gym uh, in the making here with this 85 speed, 88 strength. So the Bengals are very good in this game. But in my opinion, not number one overall because they lack that linebacker speed that is so important in Madden 25. Coming in at number three, uh, we have the, since, uh, the Seattle Seahawks. I think they do everything well. Um, just a great defensive line here uh, with the addition of Michael Bennett and uh, Cliff Averill in the offseason. And the move from Bruce Irvin to linebacker really solidifies this team as a great balanced bunch. Uh, very good four down lineman set here with Mabane, Bennett, and then Clemens and Averill on the outside. Really good pass rushing. Uh, very good average here of 88 overall on the de defensive line. We move to the linebacking core. You see with the addition of O'Brien Schofield. Uh, still having uh, you know Bruce Irvin and, and Malcolm Smith and obviously KJ right on the depth chart here. We can do a lot of things with these linebackers. Get them in different situations. A 46 package is optimal for this team. I uh, do a really good job here with the 46 bear when I use this team. They have speed. They have mad gems. Uh, just great linebackers that nobody knows about. Guys like Corey Toomer, Malcolm Smith, and Ty Powell, and obviously Bobby Wagner anchoring that defense with that almost 90 speed rating. KJ Wright holding it down on the right edge. Just a great defense overall. They don't have those slot corners that the Cincinnati Bengals have. They don't have those third and fourth guys that we can almost may, may think of as number one guys on other teams. And that is for that reason and that reason only. The Seahawks come in in a close third, uh, third slash second place with the Dallas Cowboys uh, in our top five list. And and here it is, uh, my number two defense in Madden 25. And I am a little bit uh, biased, but I think the Dallas Cowboys certainly uh, can make an argument for them as a top five, more specifically a top three defense in Madden 25. Obviously with the uh, the injury of Anthony Spencer here, um, but in Madden terms, he's not injured, and so we can definitely um, use him. I think he's a really good 89 overall. I think it doesn't get any better when the, than Dallas Cowboys as far as defensive line goes. DeMarcus Ware, in my opinion, one of the best to ever play uh, in the game at defensive end, just a phenomenal player, and now the shift from outside linebacker to defensive end this year allows DeMarcus Ware to do what he's best at, rest the quarterback. Defensive tackles, Jason Hatcher 
and Jay Ratliff are just above average and very good. They're big, they're fast, they're athletic, and they can certainly get out of the passer. As far as defensive linemen that can get out of the passer, I don't think that you can argue the fact that the Dallas Cowboys have the best four overall pass rushing defensive linemen in men NFL 25. As far as linebacker goes, the Cowboys probably, I think the Cowboys are still a, uh, you know, a top five uh, list here in terms of linebackers. They have so many linebackers. Sean Lee, Justin Durant, of speed everywhere. Justin Durant, 85 speed. Sean Lee, 83 speed. Carter's got 85, 88 speed. Sim has 85 speed. And then Davante Holman, the rookie here, doesn't have a great speed rating, but if I remember right, he has a decent hit power rating, 81. You see that the other guys here, 90 hit power for Carter, 85 hit power for Sims, and 83 hit power for Sean Lee. Good hit power, good zone coverage, great catching. You see 75 catching, 62 catching, 69 catching, and 69 catching. Uh, the Dallas Cowboys as a front seven. I don't think you can argue the fact that I think that the Dallas Cowboys front seven is either the best or the second best front seven in the game of football right now. The one weakness of Dallas is obviously their cornerbacks. Uh, with the benching of Mo Claiborne this week, moving him down on the depth chart, uh, it's going to crush his confidence, and obviously his matting rating is going to go down. But I think that the most most Claiborne and Brandon Carr can get the job done on the outside. A slot corner like Orlando Skandrick allows us with great flexibility for pressure out of nickel packages. And then I think that the Cowboys did themselves a really good job when they signed Chris Greenwood here, undrafted here. And uh, 96 speed, just a great guy to have in your depth chart, able to, to at least stay with those other uh, great core, uh, great receivers in the secondary here. And then I think this is where Dallas is uh, obviously considered very weak, but I think they're very strong. Is their secondary, and their, more simply, their free safety, strong safety combination. What I like to do is I like to start Barry Church here at strong safety. What I like to do with Dallas also is run a 4-4 defense, which takes out this evidence of, of safeties. So that's why I think Dallas is probably the best defense in the game. But what you can do is, is. You can substitute this man. Um, he, they, he was just added to the Jeff chart. Undrafted rookie Jeff Heath, 91 speed, 68 strength. He has uh, not a very good catch rating, and that's understandable, but he has uh, uh, that 65 hit power. Not only does he have that, though, but that speed, that pursuit, and more specifically, that acceleration and agility is, is what makes uh, Jeff Heath one of the better Madden uh, gems, in my opinion, in the game. And then you also, of course, you have uh, my man J.J. Wilcox, and we saw him make some big plays last week for us uh, in the game. It doesn't have as good a speed as Heath, but what he does have is a, a much higher... Uh, a much higher hit power rating, 87 hit power, and also has, I think he has a better catch rating as well. Uh, yeah, coming with 61 catch. And then another guy to consider, of course, is uh, Matt Johnson. Definitely doesn't have the hit power that Wilcox has or the speed that Heath has, but Matt Johnson is a, is a, is a uh, playmaker in this game with that 72 catch rating. And obviously Barry Church can do well enough, not just because he has 85 speed, but more specifically because he has high catching, um, and also uh, has very good hit power with 88 hit power. So don't underestimate Dallas. I think they're one of the more underestimated defenses. Uh, people put them in the top five, the top ten defenses, but nobody really talks to them as one of the best rosters as far as Madden goes for defense in this game. I think you're doing yourself a disservice if you do that, and I think you definitely need to look to Dallas as one of the top three defensive teams in the league. I think they tie with Seattle for third slash second place uh, in the top five defensive list. Number one, obviously, on our defense, the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, you can't beat them right now. Uh, obviously, in the real NFL, they're not doing as hot, but in Madden, you cannot beat this team for depth. They have so much depth here. I mean, you can see, I can put guys in for days. Um, guys like Darius Fleming, people don't even know about him. Uh, 84 speed, 77 strength, Tank Carradine, Ray McDonald. I mean, there's no weakness here. I mean, look, 91, 86, 93, and then you have a, a 93 strength backup D tackle. Linebackers, 68, but that, that rating is deceiving, 68, but 85 speed, 90 acceleration, and most importantly, 91 or 90 hit power, and that's one of the things that San Francisco has that none of these other teams have. 90 hit power, 98 hit power, 90 hit power, 91 hit power, and 93 hit power. Just a phenomenal hitting, hard hitting bunch. Play physical football with these guys. In my opinion, the best nickel defense in the game. I'll run nickel package with the Niners all day long. Big nickel, 335, I think fits the Niners. Niners line up perfectly. Uh, middle linebackers for days. Willis, Bauman, very good linebackers. 90 speed. 83 speed, very high hit power ratings for both. Outside linebacker Alden Smith, despite his off-the-field issues, still a great talent in Madden and in the NFL. 
holding it down on the right side. Your corners, and this is why I think San Francisco is the best defense in the game, at least for Madden terms, because these corners are super deep. You see, one through five, all very good corners, very fast, very strong, can tackle, can catch, can hit. Oh, look at that. Look at these catching ratings. Not a catching rating below 50 it means that when they throw the ball at you, you're going to make the play. If they if if you know if you they get past you and you have Terrell Brown or Culliver in the game, they're going to make tackles. They've got hit power. 60s is really good for corners. Just a great group of, of secondary here for the Niners. And I think what makes the Niners even better is the rookie that they added this week and er, this year in replace of Deshaun Golson. Eric Reed is arguably one of the best Madden gems of all time. 88 speed, 62 strength doesn't give this man justice. The agility, the acceleration is all there. Not despite that 71 catch rating means he's not going to drop those interceptions. And also this really good hit power rating, uh, 93 hit power rating, the best on the Niners secondary. And it's going to lay low. Lumber with you as you his with him as your user player. Strong safety, Dante Whitner, very good overall. Strong safety, 88 speed, just good at everything he does, and uh, can catch interceptions. Uh, rarely drop picks with this man, and that 89 hit power again solidifies the San Francisco 49ers as the best defense in men 25. But these are your top five defenses, rate from one to five. Well, who do you guys think should be on this list that I didn't include? Leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching today. I hope that this gives you a little bit better grasp on who the best defenses in men 25 are, as if you didn't already know. And we'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you guys next week with another good top five breakdown.